A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hi, friends. <sighs> okay. So, I am going to my doctor's appointment today for my elbow. I'm trying to shut my garage door. Um, and I start a lot of these videos from right here, from my car, as I'm headed out. Because part of that is to ease my nerves, to talk about it. Like, I, Jason already knows I'm going. I don't need to talk to him about it. So I talk to you guys about it. Um, sometimes when I'm going to doctor's appointments, it doesn't turn out. Um, sometimes it does turn out like it's a good thing. And other times it's not. Sometimes I share it with you and sometimes I don't. There's one instance that I have not shared with you. I don't know if I, if or when I will. Um, and part of, part of my, I guess, hesitation to share this today with you is the worry that I'm not going to get the answers that I want because that's happened in the past. Sometimes I've shared with you, sometimes I haven't, like I said. And so I get nervous. Um, I have my actual referral right here from the urgent care. Um, this is from my elbow. If you are new, there is something wrong with the ligaments and or tendon or cartilage space in between. I don't really know. Um, so we're going over to uh, UW. It's a sport med clinic over there. Um, because that's the only place that my insurance could get me in. If you remember, my uh, attempt to get a general practitioner has me pushed out to October to be seen for a general practitioner. Um, I can't wait that long. And so worked with someone on my insurance. And no, not insurance end. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was maybe my insurance end. I don't know. But she helped me find this doctor and not just the clinic itself <sighs> the problem with this kind of appointment and this kind of in not injury or whatever it is I'm not gonna necessarily get answers and a diagnosis today I don't think because it requires an MRI because it's a ligament issue <sighs> so it's kind of frustrating to go to the appointment in general because I'm not gonna get answers <laughs> today and that's just frustrating to waste hours of my time to not get an answer today, but I know I will eventually. This is just a literal step in the right direction, hopefully. So I'm gonna transfer the address to my car. Um, let's go, no more babbling. I think I babble because I get nervous. Um, but I've got to fight traffic and I've got to fight the rain and go over to Seattle, which makes me nervous, but I know this area because that's where Children's Hospital is. I just am not exactly sure where the clinic itself is. So I'm literally giving myself 30 minutes extra time <laughs> to find parking, to find the clinic. <sighs> and here comes the torrential downpour. That's how my mood feels right now. that I'm filming this. <laughs> I'm not going to film her by any means. The doctor, I mean. Um, she's just going to do an x-ray right now. One, she believes me. She sees me wincing in pain as she's moving my elbow. But she's going to rule out with an x-ray that there's any bone issues um, and that it's more muscle ligament issue. So I'm just waiting for them to uh, come and get me for her x-ray. Which, I mean... I, I would be surprised if there was a bone issue, but she said that could be a bone, bone issue hooked to the muscles, hooked to the ligaments. So maybe. We'll All right, <laughs> from the glow of my car, um, I have to preface this with the fact that um, 
I always, whenever doctors or people ask me if I have a job, I always hesitate and they're like, why are you hesitating? And I was like, oh, I mean, I, I get paid to do something, but it's not very much. And well, what do you get paid to do? And uh, I have a YouTube channel. Anyway, so my doctor today, she was like, no way. Okay, that's so cool. She's like, what's your channel? <laughs> so hello, if you're watching. <laughs> she, she thought it was cool that I like film the process without like, you know, showing the doctors and you know, all the HIPAA violations that that would entail. Um, so I, I do document my process. This isn't um, abnormal for me to do if my doctor is watching this. Um, so I have a few diagnoses for today or just one. Um, there is the thought that it's probably what the equivalent of tennis elbow, which she doesn't understand how I would get that if I don't play tennis. And my only exercise is walking. <laughs> Maybe I'm aggressive when I'm walking. I don't know. I don't remember what the name of it is. Um, trying to get to that page. Um, so what we're gonna start with is called, that's my medicines. Let me see here. Let's see if I can read it to you guys. Um, consistent with lateral epicondi epicondi epicondylitis or a common exterior tendinopathy um, so I want to stay active don't avoid doing my activities that exas exasperate exact I don't know how to speak enhance these symptoms want to keep doing them um, but I have been referred to uh, physical therapy she's also um, told me to maybe try this um, what is it called those are the therapies a little a little band but it doesn't go on my elbow it goes on the muscle right below my arm it goes right here on my arm it I I wish you could record <laughs> like your doctor's comments and conversations so that you can actually remember what they say and what it what they're talking about but she basically said the movements in my elbow and the tendon I need to trick it by activating the muscle down lower from my elbow to trick it into thinking that's the muscle that needs to work instead of my elbow muscle to kind of alleviate the pressure from the elbow um, so I am gonna try that she said I mainly only need to try that when I am walking when I have the the more frequent pain and the problems so I think I will definitely go and get one of those in fact because I don't have anything else to do today I might go and get one right now at Target um, and then I have a referral for a PT to try um, others oh, one that my kids have gone to there's another one okay I just have to find out if my insurance is covered at these places which is gonna be another story but she wants me to try physical therapy for two months because um, she said if physical therapy doesn't work um, it uh, it's likely that I'll need to do like the injections that it is the tendon that is the problem. And so, but it's like you have to go through this process. I'm assuming you have to go through PT to rule out that PT can't fix it. Um, that it isn't like a muscle issue and working with the, the ligaments and whatnot. Um, so I kind of have to do that, but she said in two months, she wants me to follow up with her with an actual appointment, which I've already scheduled. Um, so we can decide, is PT working? It, you know, and if so, then maybe I continue it for a little bit longer. But if it's absolutely not doing any good, then she's going to do an ultrasound on it at that point and decide if injections at that point would be beneficial, which is quite literally exactly what my dad has said to do. And I was honest with her. I was like, I, you know, I told her about what he thought. It, I don't know the words. I don't know like the the actual like terminology for it. But she was like, "Yeah, your dad's on track. Yeah, I can see that. I just have to follow through this path to rule out other things." Um, but she said it might be that it might need to have two months of PT, and then okay, that didn't fix it. So now we need to go on and try this. But I appreciate that she's uh, you know taking me through the, the process to like figure it out and whatnot. Now I need to just go and see if I can find um, a place, a PT place that will take our insurance. I would love to do the ones that um, Kaylee has used. Kaylee has used um, one just right in town for me. 
twice now one with her dislocated knee and then another one I can't remember what the other problem was um, but anyway so I know that that place is a good place and then she also said I could try getting um, where was it on here some cream and it's like a topical ointment it was it's probably the equivalent of like the Tylenol, Tylenol pain cream that we get for our kids when they have like uh, growing pains it's probably something very similar to that it's just over the counter so I might try that it's more when I'm walking it hurts right now holding the, mm, the camera maybe it's from the camera maybe maybe I have tape tennis elbow from um, you know holding the camera that would be ironic Although I've never heard any other YouTuber have this kind of thing happen. And they carry, they carry heavier cameras than I do. I, mine's like literally like two pounds. Like it doesn't weigh anything. So, um, but the other funny thing is as soon as my, the doctor um, discovered that I have a channel and whatnot and that I was filming the process of this appointment and my journey of trying to figure out what's wrong with my elbow. Um, when I came in from getting the x-ray, she was like, did you get pictures of it? And I was like, no, I can't take my camera in there. <laughs> like, I've never been able to do that with my kids. And she's like, okay, well, let's get you some video and a photo of your, of your, <laughs> of your uh, x-rays. So she turned her computer around and I just, I appreciated her willingness to understand my side of it and that I like to document this. Um, I said some people get weirded out by that. Doctors definitely do because they don't allow cameras and filming inside offices and hospitals and whatnot. But it, this is my life and I want to document this process of trying to have my elbow get better. Um, so anyway, that was a long, long winded, but I, um, but I'm hopeful. I just have to like work through insurance again and see if I can find a place. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna probably just go to Target. Of course, of course, we're out of milk. And I'm, now I'm just trying to get to Friday. <laughs> we're back onto Friday Costco schedule. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's like we, we're never gonna get back to Monday Costco schedule. Jason will be happy for this Friday. That's for sure. Um, but <laughs> probably gonna have to get a gallon of milk at Costco. And see if a gallon of milk, what day is today? It's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's see if we can get a gallon of milk to last until Friday. That's the goal. Okay, I'm only filming this because we're literally dead stop. <laughs> I just got on the highway and I'm listening to my sister's Marco Polo. And I'm gonna Marco Polo her back safely with it propped on my little stand that I have here. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while. Right now it's saying that it'll take me 33 minutes to get home and that's a long time so and then I got the idea that I have like this automatic when I go over to UW well we usually go to Children's Hospital with Abby so I immediately like got on the highway and I texted Abby or I voice texted her and I was like pretty sure I need to get Chick-fil-a <laughs> because that's what I do when I come home from this area every time and she's like I'm pretty sure you do you know my order so I might go get Chick-fil-a and take it to her but I, I think I'm gonna stop in at Target still so all right we might have traffic going here I have to document this I'm not driving at I mean I am but like no one in line literally I'm driving straight up Jason's gonna be so mad <laughs> this is the only time he hasn't come with me and there's no line okay I'm gonna hurry into Target now. I did get my food. It was very yummy. Had a good conversation with the guy <laughs> about being first in line. And we ran into Target really quick and try and find that elbow wrap and get some milk. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I guess this is what I get. It's quite literally what they said. Yep. All right been a couple hours got a little addicted to uh, Netflix tonight <laughs> um, oh but I was also talking to my twin sister for probably about an hour so and I've had dinner I've it's been a while <laughs> since I was with you guys I was pretty tired when I got home but I'm gonna practice with my little with my little elbow strap be sure that needs to be tighter. 
I don't know how tight that should be. I'll probably feel it better when I'm like on my walk, which is when I they said to wear it. I wonder if I should go higher. I was just talking to, uh, texting with my aunt as well. Um, she's trying to get me to buy her timeshare for this year. <laughs> she's a timeshare in Maui. My aunt Jo. Yeah. <laughs> she's been texting me and she wants us to use well, her timeshare. Well, no, not buy, no, not, buy, not buy it all out, but she wants us to use it this year. Okay. I know. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we can go to Maui for 1500 bucks. To stay in her unit. How different the price is that from where we usually go? It's about a thousand different than we've paid. In the, well, no. It's, 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 she's in a little condo and it's a little condo pool. So it's, it's different. The experience is different. The price is different. But anyway, I was chatting with her and then it's my dad's sister. And so she was like, oh, I was talking to your dad today. And I was like, oh, I called my dad today too. I was telling him about my new diagnosed tennis elbow. And uh, she's like, oh, your dad's good at diagnosing things. <laughs> See, that's what I was telling you. What? This right here, what I said earlier to wrap I this have part to, of your arm. You're not a doctor. I told you that, that that's what Cindy at work said. Okay, great, but neither one of you are a doctor. You don't know what's wrong with me. I had an x-ray done today. Well, they said band. We were right. One, I didn't know what this kind of band. I thought you wanted me to put a whole brace over my elbow, which is not what... No, no, I just not. I said wrap this part of your hand. That, I did, that didn't make sense. That sounded like a cast or a big, huge brace. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, you, didn't I listen. Did... you didn't listen. It's okay, fine. well, I, tr I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have my little arm brace. Um, we'll see how it works tomorrow. We have sunshine for at least 12 days. So I'm going to go walking at least... 10 days because I don't go walking on Sundays unless I don't go to church. <laughs> Maybe I will. I just don't like getting all makeup and hair done on Sundays in order to like be sweaty later on and go walking. So it's a day of rest after all. So I am going to try and get nine or 10 days of walking in while we have sunshine and our pre summer. Oh, yeah. How's the walking thing going? I did mine tonight. Well, you got to make a little comment. Uh, I should do a community post with a picture of me walking. Maybe I'll, I'll take a picture of myself tomorrow. You'll have already seen it. I'll post it and on that picture we can go and put our little walking steps. So I'll do that. But for now, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> so, actually, I'm not going to go to bed. I'm going to go back and watch Netflix just because I know I'm going to do a lot of walking tomorrow because I'm betting if I walk in the morning, my friend is going to text me in the afternoon and say, hey, you want to go walking again? It's sunny outside. So I might be actually getting a ton of walking in tomorrow. So I'm going to say goodnight to you, getting answers from doctors all over. So <laughs> hopefully uh, we can get some relief, at least for now, from this and some PT and then figure it out over the next two months or so. So take care and thanks for joining us. I think I'll let it be